Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Arcrise Fantasia! Last time, we left Zeitfeld Holy Tower, we revived Riffia, and Nico joined, because apparently he's part of the Resistance. Who knew? So, off to Ferris we go! How dare you steal our precious water! But my mother is sick! She can't get better with just the rationed water! Please! She needs water! Forget it! You saw the new laws put forth by Lord Alf. All people, young and old, male or female, sick or well, must obey the Imperial law. Those who refuse to comply will be punished. N no. Why? You are a criminal. And on top of that, you tried to resist. You will be put to death immediately. Leave him alone. You want to try and stop me? You'll be headed for the gallows, too, then! Then maybe we should put you to death before that happens. Ah! Oh, you'll pay for this! Did he, like, actually attack him there, or is he just being overly melodramatic? Yeah, that was kind of odd. <laughs> Are you okay? Thank you. But you can't go around doing stuff like that. Don't worry. Helping people in need is what heroes do. Nico! Do these people want to be part of the Resistance too? Huh? Oh, no, not really. Oh yeah, Nico. Kazov was looking for you earlier. He said he heard from Dr. Carlisle and he wanted to ask you something. See you all later. Thanks again! Carlisle, huh? What, Vice was talking about him earlier. Dr. Carlyle? Uh, yeah. She's a friend of ours. Oh, now that's good news. Nico, baby, will you let us come along with you? Uh, but... We've been looking for a woman by the name of Carlyle. Please, take us with you. Uh, okay. Let's stay at the inn for now. Oh, do we get some costumes and everything? That'd be kind of nice. Maybe like some cool hey, resistance Nico, costumes. You're all right, huh? Who are these folks? Um, we want to join the resistance. This isn't some game, you know. Oh, these guys are totally strong. This is Lark Bright Lagoon. You know, the guy that Lord Alf is after. So you're Lark Bright Lagoon, eh? I heard they called you the Deathbringer over in the Republic. You're the resistance leader? Nope. I'm the subleader. Oh yeah, by the way, Mr. Lagoon. You can call me Lark. Okay then, Lark. If you really want to join us, then I'd like to ask a favor of you. We've got one to ask you first. We're looking for a girl here named Carlisle. Carlisle? Oh yeah, she sent me a letter asking me to find you. Funny, huh? You know her or something? I guess you could say that. Okay, I'll let her know to come back here as soon as possible. So, can you do something for me? I need to rescue our leader. What do you mean? Our leader's being held prisoner by the Imperial Army. They're telling us to surrender if we want them to spare her life. Your leader's been captured? Seems like a pretty pathetic resistance if you ask me. Our hideout was hit with a surprise attack by the Imperial Army when we were out on an operation. They tried to fight back, but the Imperial Army's commander was too strong. We had no chance. So how are we supposed to rescue her? Our hideout is in the Hilbert Ruins right by here. I think that's where Banshu was. Our leader should be there, but there's too much resistance for us to have half a chance. We'll launch an attack to divert their attention. Meanwhile, you guys... Go in and save the leader, right? Lark! This is another chance for me to hone my hero skills! We're gonna help them, aren't we? Okay, we'll do it. But don't forget what we agreed about Carlisle, okay? You got it! Nico, you get a hold of Dr. Carlisle and get her back here! Yes, sir! <sighs> oh, poor Nico. I think that Lark wants Nico to join them. Oh, well, what's going on? Uh, yeah, I guess. Oh, no problem. Well, what is it? Ooh! Resistance pin! Nice! Yeah, but, I mean, we are rescuing their leader. Oh. Oh, really? Huh. Yeah, it's actually really nice. Okay. 
So now with this pin, uh, shops sell new items. Shops that you've been to before all sell new items. So that's pretty nice. Oh, Nico the Rebel. Oh, yeah, I've always thought so. Hmm. I don't know about that. He still seems kind of like a coward, but not that much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Serge, you lady killer. Oh, I'm sure. What is Nico's story like? We don't really ever get, like, a background on Nico, why he is the way he is. Like, was it something, like, with his upbringing? Like, we don't know. Like, everybody else, we know something about where they come from. Nico, he's just kind of like some random best friend. We never get to meet his parents, no brothers, no sisters, no nobody at all. Like, it is what it is. So it's kind of strange. Maybe we will get to see something about his character and, you know, get a little bit of insight. I would like that. Oh, yeah. Nico seems pretty surface, if you ask me. Oh, okay. So now we can go over to these shops here, and it isn't just the shop here, it's the shops in all the Imperial-held territories. Um, and they sell all sorts of new weapons for everybody, it's very nice, as well as new armor for each pe uh, for each person as well. Uh, no new armor here, but you do get the army shoes, so I do want to buy five of those. There we go. And then I'm going to be going around to the other shops uh, in the Meridian Empire and buying all new weapons and stuff um, from those as well. We have to go to Jada, Diamant, Antrax, Patrakides, and Eber. And I'm going to be going there after this skit. Oh, yeah, that is kind of surprising. I'm surprised we didn't get the skit earlier, actually, like way back in the tower. Oh, yeah. Well, at least your father's nearby. Been the, he's been with you this whole time. Oh, yeah. Oh. Was it your mother? Who exactly... Oh, I guess it was. Huh. Was she raised in the singing ministry as well and then was killed? Huh. I'm surprised your mother didn't tell her that she was like, you know, a divine race or that Simma was her father or anything. Anyway, I'm gonna go to all those towns buy some stuff, and meet you here in a second. Okay, I took care of all that stuff. I figured, you know, it's just me buying stuff, and I didn't want to waste too much time with it. Uh, these are the weapons that I've got. I'm just going to go through each of them really pretty quickly. That's kind of nice, actually. Uh, let's see. Ooh, Master Mage, really. And it's a small piece, too. That's pretty damn nice, I must say. Oh, you got two weapons here. Whoa, speed 15. Hey, hey, awesome. Our last speed was just plus two. Add a sleep. Not add sleep, it's add a sleep. Okay. Anyway, let's see what you got. Oh, level down. Not bad at all with a Master Mage uh, there permanently. What's this? Hiding. Hmm. Wait, get back there. Oh, huh. Too bad it's an arm force. Like, if this was just something that you would have that would lower the probability of you getting attacked, it might be kind of nice. But because it's an arm force and you have to waste AP in order to use it, eh, we'll see. Max damage plus is not half bad, though. Not that you're really ever at full HP during a boss fight, but you know what I mean. Oh, another max damage plus, but this one you can actually take off of your weapon, so that's kind of nice. And what do you have, Cecile? Oh, faster casting. Hey, hey. Awesome. That'll be really good for Surge and Riffia. And boost Excel Act. Always, always very nice, especially for Riffia with her amazing Excel Axe. So that's it for the weapons. As far as the armor is concerned, uh, I bought the Segmentata at Diamant, that's for Lark and for Rastin. Uh, for Riffia, the Nobility Cloak, I got that in Eber. Uh, the Alkina Guard, I got back in Antrax. The Albsipsian? I don't know. I got that in Batrachides, and that is for um, Surge as well as Cecile. So, yeah, that's everything that I got there. Also, if you go to the guilds now, you can get some extra quests. So we have Den of Horrors, and we're going to be taking care of this one today! Yeah, down at the Galios Ravine. Uh, let's see what else we got going on here. Hunting ten snow frogs. I can get that done since I need to level up my weapons anyway. Oh, the Ruins of Hilbert. Well, we're going there soon enough anyway to rescue their resistance leader. This ore drops from those, um... They're like the flo floating gem people. 
um, in all of those four dungeons where we've been catching the rogress and all that, uh, it's kind of a rare drop. You could equip like Treasure Hunter to make it drop some more. Um, you know, there's a, they're the enemies that you steal those uh, amulets from, so I'll have to get those, And but we'll get those just through playing the game normally. It's so big. What's so big? <laughs> yeah, uh, this you can get in the Siliton Caves, but we can't go there quite yet, so keep that in mind for right now. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and do Den of Horrors, and I'm going to meet you down in Galio's Ravine. Well, I've went ahead and I made my way down to the ravine floor of the Galio's Ravine to take on the mighty Callisto. So, first things first, let me just go over my setup. Basically, I'm still working on weapons for everybody, so I really just wanted to give a Surge the Boosting Magic, Lark, um, I gave him extra magic as well, why not? And Rivia, I gave her the Anticoder because it has the Block Magical, which would be really nice, with the Magic 5, and I gave her the Water Resist, because we need to be resisting Earth and Water, because this guy will use Ice Magic as well. So I gave Surge the Diamond, Lark the Ice Amulet, and Rivia the Topaz. As far as their magic is concerned, just make sure that everybody can cast either level 3 or level 4 Fire Magic, and have somebody, in my case, Lark, as a healer able to cast level 3 water magic. I have everybody at 100% SP. Not that we're really going to need it, but let's go ahead and get this st rattle started. Let's slice and dice. Okay, so what I want to do first things first is use Inferno. Yeah, it's really very nice. And if we combine um, that and these Infernos together, it'll be just really amazing. This guy has a pretty damn big weakness to fire magic, and he only has 65,000 HP. So, yeah, this is definitely the way that you want to go. Whoa. Yikes. Please don't kill him. Yeah, that would not be very good. Okay, so we'll use another Inferno together. Um, and let's see, I'm going to have you... It's really just him who needs the heals, so I'll have you heal him twice, and that's all I want to do right now. Water. Thank you kindly. Okay, very good. We're all back up to full health. Yep, yep. Some flames. Burn them all. Nice damage there. Woohoo! Yeah, sixteen thousand damage. But now they are out of magic, so that kind of sucks. Okay, so we should be fine. Let's see if we can combine a burning drive with another burning drive and then another burning drive. Ooh, it's so good. Yeah, um, I guess heal up surge. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. Bam! 14,000 HP. Yeah, we're doing pretty well. Oh, sweet. Nobody's dead. Nobody's dead. Nobody's dead. We're fine. I'm all out. Oh, sweet. Wow. This is actually going a lot better than I thought it would. Uh, let's see. We'll use a uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da healing stream. Get everybody back up to full. And then we'll have you guys combine for a burning drive. That'll be fine. And uh, I guess you could use a blazer or something. It doesn't matter. Whatever. Yeah, the, the key here is pretty much to heal every single round if needed, but always keep up with the punishment with as much fire magic as you possibly can muster. If you want to use Excel Axe, you can. It might actually be easier to use Excel Axe, but, eh, we have some fire magic, so why not? You know what? I could go ahead and use um, this stuff, so why not? Let's see. Uh, yeah, it wouldn't work because she doesn't have an attack. Uh, that's only worth, you know, 3 AP. So, anyway, let's go ahead and we'll just go ahead and, uh, burning drive the crap out of this guy, and that'll be that. So, yeah, easy enough. Not like we lose, but still. Oh, wow. Lots of weapon gains, and we got a pretty nice piece of armor as well. The armored cloak which can only be used on Surge or Riffia. Unfortunately, it raises their attack, and there are my mages, so I don't really know why they gave the Armored Cloak to only the mages, so that's kind of strange. And the cloak itself also lowers their resistance, even though they do have the highest resistance stats in the game. Um, 
I still think that resistance is just better. It might be good for grinding for the extra attack power, but for the most part, I'm not really going to use it all that much. But what I am going to do is go ahead and turn in this quest, and then we need to head off to the uh, ruins and see about rescuing the leader of the resistance, which we're going to do next time. Let's play Arc Rise Fantasia. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.